I need to explain. Hey guys, Yuri11 here. And today, we got some mail. Though it's special mail because it's my new biggest purchase. Just barely beating out Alex Ovechkin. Because I spent so much money on this card, I might as well make it its own video. But certain things led me to getting this card. The main one is a lot of frustration with purchasing sealed product is the main reason why I got this card. I actually bought this right before Christmas and I was planning on getting boxed for January this upcoming month and it was a struggle the stuff I had my eyes on either sold out or shot up in price literally overnight and I was getting really frustrated because I was like keeping an eye on a certain product for a good week or two and making sure it wouldn't sell but the day before I was ready to buy it it sold out and then I checked plan B for that product and it shot up in price by a lot and that product is 15 16 the cup I want to do a special video for the channel and well I missed my chance on opening that and even recently i saw that that's pretty upsetting uh, if only but that's a good price too by the way that's a really good price for 0506 but yeah could not do a special video a lot of the other products i was looking to get also sold out and well january it's just shot up even more but after missing out on something i really wanted to open i was like screw it let's throw in some feelers on some nice cards i'm watching so i threw some feelers in on a matthews black marner rpa and this card to my surprise i got this card i didn't expect the offer to be accepted but but I got the card. Also, I want to say this. It's not like I can just casually do this. Everything from Series 1 is gone. Like, laughing years are gone. Literally everything is gone. The Yager and Luongo, gone. Dreisaitl, that's another card I've sold. Sold a bunch. So there's that. I want to make that clear. I sold some stuff to get this. And I had to sell even more to make sure I had some boxes for the channel. So there is that. So let's reveal the card here. And there was some unexpected things with this purchase. It took a month to arrive and I got fricked with. And also, it was like 500 bucks in imports. And uh, I did not see that coming. Honestly, I probably would not have bought it if I knew that I had to pay that much just to get the card into Canada. But yeah. Well, let's take it out here. It's been fricked with. Look at this. Better not be messed up here. It's a slab card. Hopefully the slab's not all messed up here by uh, CBSA. Order searching for something agency. But yeah, let's open this up here. I think the dramatic reveal decoy might be a little small. So let's get one of my thousand winter classic jumbo cards to do it. I'm also opening it on camera here just in case it is messed with. But all right, so here we go. This is not a future watch, by the way, which is rare for me. But we got, well, 13, 14 national treasures. We're gonna talk about the hobby a little bit after this as well but 1340 national trail yeah who else could it be nathan mckinnon jersey auto it's the one to 99 this is grade 9.5 we got centering 9.5 corners 9.5 edges 10 surface 9 so there it is number 95 of 99 there it is let's reveal it not as dramatic as Ovi. I feel the Ovi is like one of my biggest collecting accomplishments. This is just buying out of frustration. But here it is. Finally got it in my possession. Nathan McKinnon. National Treasures. RPA. A 99. That's a nice card. Now the auto... It's got a 9, which is fine. I mean, it could have got a 10, but... What, a little light on the pen there? Like, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I paid up for the patch. We got an Avs logo patch there. That's... Oh, I just realized, like, look at that. It's black, and there's some blue and some white there. Like, on the picture, it looked like all one color. Oh, that's nice right there. Yeah, NT! Panini product! Oh my gosh. I'm actually pretty happy I got this card now, but... Yeah, I'll quickly touch on McKinnon. When is he gonna get, like, the top-tier recognition, like, with McDavid, Crosby, and Ovi, right? Like, when is is the casual fan gonna know McKinnon as a household name, right? You gotta think of it that way, because he is arguably the best player in the world. And you can make a very good argument that he is the best player in the world. And I mean, he could very well win the Hart Trophy this year. He could win a Stanley Cup this year. And that's another thing. I'm not an investor. I'll say that right now. I am not an investor. I'm a collector. This is going to my collection. I enjoy collecting way too much to part ways with cards. All right. I'm not going to get into that whole investing crap right now. Okay. This card, I feel physical pain thinking about selling that. So yeah, I do not collect to invest. I really do like Nathan McKinnon. I have high hopes on him. So I decide to spend on him. But yeah, there's McKinnon. Just an explosive player. But yeah, I'm kind of going a little heavy on McKinnon here. Let's just consider this as well. He's going to be taking hardware from Connor McDavid, right? Like, he's been robbed of the Hart Trophy a couple times now. He's been robbed of 100 points a couple times now. So, it's only a matter of time before he wins a Hart Trophy. Maybe even a Rocket Richard. He's going to get an Art Ross. It's going to happen. And consider this. He's only 25 still. McDavid's 24, right? Yeah, he's been around quite a while now, since 13, 14. But he's still only 25. Yeah, he's easily top three 
three player and you can make the argument on any given day that he is the best player in the league and he's just gonna further get into the argument but yeah obviously i'm high on him so there's that let's talk about uh, the hobby a little bit here obviously this is a panini product i mean yes upper decks quality control has been terrible it's been absolutely terrible i'll be honest i hope they can turn it around i don't want to see them go under i hope they can see this through perfect world we'd have two card makers competing against each other that would be the perfect world where we have either upper deck versus panini or tops but if upper deck loses their license i know it'd suck to lose the young guns and the future watch autos but i think i'm ready i'll be honest if it's just panini or tops i don't think leafs ever gonna be able to compete with that but if it's ever just one of them and upper decks out of it i think i'm ready for it honestly i think i'm ready for a change that's another reason why i got this nt it's still a very popular product in basketball football among other sports i mean geez look at some of those rpa prices i know hockey's way smaller than pretty much every other sport right now but yeah i don't want to see upper deck go away i want to see them competing with somebody that'd be nice somebody firmly kick them up the freaking that'd be nice and panini and top they're trying to get in the door tops has stickers right and they had the digital skate and panini last year they had like the caco and kraft soft set like i don't blame them for trying to get in the door if you don't know upper deck has a deal with michael jordan and lebron james where nobody else can have their autographs so panini their products like nt flawless immaculate there's no michael jordan or lebron odds. like that's just hostile that's like panini saying all right well we want like gretzky and crosby or gretzky and mcdavid even though we're not making hockey like that's really hostile so that's why i think upper deck is doing chl again to uh try to get deals with these players sooner but there is that i know upper deck has a deal probably a five-year deal when panini lost in 2014 upper deck had the deal for five years in 2019 then they renewed it in 2019 so it'd be 2024 by the time that runs out and not that panini and tops haven't had their issues either you gotta be fair right but upper Dex has just been colossal it's been just problem after problems so yeah guys there is a questionable mail i'm not questioning it at all honestly i'm very pleased with this stay tuned for more breaks to come i actually just ordered some product for the channel no 15 16 or 506 a cup but a lot of really nice boxes i'll say this we'll have a little mcdavid mini series going on where we hunt connor mcdavid but so there's that as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later